Hey guys, my name is Shriya and today I'm going to show you my first how-to video which is going to be how I drew my brows and what is my brow routine. So if you want to know, please continue watching. Also do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video and let me know in the comments down below which video you want me to do next. Now without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I've already finished doing my one brow and this is how it is looking right now. And in the end, this is how my other brow is going to look like as well because we want our brows to look like sisters at least, if not twins. But I'm going to try to make this brow as close to this one as possible. And before we start doing my brows, I'm going to pluck them and I'm going to groom them. Like you can see the stray strands of hair like here. And I never like to keep the stray strands of hair anywhere on my brows before I start doing them. So I always trim my brow hair and I always pluck the brow hairs. I'm going to slowly pluck out the hair. Grooming the brows does a hell lot of difference in your brow routine. So I would suggest that you do groom your brows before you do them. Also, I never opt out for threading because it kind of hurts very badly. And I'm used to tweezing my hair out now. So yeah, I think we have gotten rid of every stray strand of hair. After grooming my brows, I'm going to quickly brush them with a spoolie like this. So I know the growth of my brows. I usually use different brow products for different occasions and normally when I'm in a hurry I use the Maybelline Fashion Brow Cream Pencil which looks like this. And I also use Red Cosmetic Brow Bar to go. This is like a powder product which comes with a wax as well. For my Instagram tutorials I always use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony which looks like this. This is my most favorite brow pomade because it is very creamy as well as it glides on very smoothly. Another one of my favorite high-end pomade is the Benefit Cabra, which looks like this. It comes with a brush, as I've shown before as well. I rely on the Benefit Cabra only when I have to like go out for a full day and I want my brows to stay intact till I come back home. This one is really very smudge-proof and like waterproof, obviously. And also, I've been using one more brow pomade, and this is by MAC. This is the Prolong Wear Fluid Line in Dip Down. This is how it looks. It contains 3 grams of product. It is like a warm brown shade. Yeah. I actually do not like it for my liner or my waterline because it kind of cracks and I do not like that in liner obviously. But for my brows it really works very well and keeps them in place for a long time. Also one more thing is that this one is kind of light brown shade which means that if I don't want to do bold brows, this one is really good option for me. For my today's tutorial I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. In ebony and I'm going to use multiple brushes like I'm going to use the bougie beauty brush in 111 which is like a spoolie and a brow brush I'm also going to use the pack 314 brush which is like a precise brow brush this is how it looks like and lastly I'm going to use the brush by Gerard cosmetics this is the one that comes in their brow bar to go and this is the most tiniest brush that I've seen till date. So guys, this is how the brow brush looks like. And as you guys can see, it is very tiny. And it really draws those perfect brow-like hair strokes. To start, I'm going to do the front part of my brow first and then go to the end. I'm quickly going to draw two lines on my brows. One below my brow and one above it, like here. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to draw hair like strokes in the direction of my brow hair. Try not to make your brows too stark here and too bold here and use just minimum product. Once we are done with that, just take the spoolie and brush it through your brow. Don't take it up, just brush it. So that is the front part of my brow hair done and I'm going to use a pack brush now which looks like this and I'm going to take some more product on it. Then I'm slowly going to draw the arch of my brow.
be very precise and careful over here because we don't want to mess this step up it's okay if you mess it up a little here because we can clean it up later just make your brows as bold and neat as you can so guys this is how my brow is looking right now and i'm going to clean it up using the wet n wild small concealer brush as well as the wet n wild concealer in light medium beige i'm going to clean up my brow now Now I'm going to set my concealer using a white eyeshadow to kind of brighten up my brow bone. So guys, that is it for my brows, and I'm going to do my full face makeup now, and be right back to show you guys how my brows look. So that is it, guys. That is my brow routine and how I usually do my brows for my Instagram tutorials. If I have to go out or if I am just going out for like. grocery shopping and i also want to let you guys know that everyone has different brow shape according to that you have to understand how you are supposed to fill in your brows not everyone has like same brow i don't think even i have same brows like my both the brows are different this one is a little shorter while this is a little longer but yes we all have different brows and that is for you to figure out how do you want to do your brows this is just some techniques that i use and if you guys want you can just use them for yourself and see if they work out for you So guys I'm going to take a leave for now and I'm going to come back again very soon with another how to video. If you want to watch it just subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified and I really hope to see you guys in my next video as well. Until then take care. Bye bye.